It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. In the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. Hi, hotties. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged. And in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. We're still troweling our YouTube name over here. So if y'all have any suggestions, definitely leave them down in the comment section. We are going to not do teacups because I do feel like that one is a little too common. I do feel like I maybe have heard that name before. You guys also have told me some content creators that may have had that name. Hotties, you know, I think that's Meg the Stallion fan base. I'm not going to lie, but I do think that could be exclusive to us over here on YouTube. So y'all let me know if you have any other suggestions. I do like hotties. And so that's hotties, like hot teas, but like hotties, you get it? It's cute. Okay, y'all. So I'm dreading making this video because <laughs> Stormy think like she is something that she is not, y'all. I think Stormy doesn't understand how YouTube works. Like, I think she think we make YouTubes for our health. Like, I think she think we make videos, like, for the sake of our health. I think she think, like, we like talking about her. I don't think she understands the monetary value behind communicating and talking and reviewing about Love and Marriage Huntsville. It's not that you are the it factor, right? No, because you're not. You look more like the it without the factor, but you definitely not given it factor. This is more so a popular show that we all like to com come together and talk about, whether that is talking about you, Destiny, Tisha, Melody, Martel, Marceau, Maurice, Carlos, the executive producer, and it, it doesn't matter who it is, right? Right? They could replace you with the garbage man, right? We're going to talk about his ass too. So she seemingly thinks like people hate her. Like, girl, get over yourself. Like, God forbid I ever have the energy to hate a bitch that look like you. I'm sorry because some of y'all, y'all just saying the girl look nice because she has exaggerated features. The girl is not beautiful. She's not a beautiful person. I know plenty of people with big nose and big lips that are beautiful. She is not on that end of beauty. And at the end of the day, it shouldn't matter what we have to say about her because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. All that matters is Courtney thinks she fine. He married her. He has to look at that every day, not us. So my opinion on her beauty shouldn't even matter. But I'm tired of y'all lying, like y'all lying. She is not like, she's an odd beauty, right? An odd beauty. But when we talk about beauty, that's not necessarily what we envision her to be, mainly because of her spirit. Her spirit exacerbates all of the features on her face. That's just my opinion, and I don't care how nobody feel about it. If you, man, argue with your mama. And speaking of spirit, Stormy's spirit is nasty, yucky, jealous. It's like she just doesn't have a good spirit and energy about her. It's kind of like Latasha. It don't matter what Latasha do to herself. Latasha is ugly, right? Not Tisha. We talking about Latasha from Escape. She's ugly because her spirit is dark and just is draining. It's just every time you look at Latasha, it's just wickedness. You can feel it in her eyes. You can see it. Stormy, on the other hand, is like jealous and just just insecure. She knows she ugly. And which is why she has an ugly spirit. Stormy think that her money is supposed to cover up all of the ugly within her, which in turn is why she's having a hard time with this show she thought that she would be able to be more relatable because maybe she's younger she's married and you know she thinks that I think she thinks she's more relatable because she, like she a hood girl that just got some money and that's not actually relatable to us because a lot of us maybe come from low income areas but we don't act it right it doesn't we it, it's not something that we wear on us it's kind of in us but it's not like on us and hood is all over you so the problem is love and marriage huntsville fans we like black excellence we love to know that you came from one place and now you're at another place we love that aspect of it okay stormetta 
I don't, I don't think, I think you're missing the point. I'm sorry, not Storm at us, me. That's not the point. You are not giving black excellence. You're giving more hood rich, but you're not even giving hood rich and where like you're confident in your successes and where you come from. You're giving like hood rich, but I want to fake like I'm bougie, but I want to fake like I'm classy, but I want to fake like I'm educated because y'all she tried to educate us on ghetto and I damn near laughed. I damn near spit out my water that I was drinking at the time because she really said that. Well, I'm gonna let y'all hear what she said, but store me. Ghetto is a term that they gave the Jews housing situation that black people adopted. They did not give us the term ghetto. We lived in the projects, baby. If you talk about low income areas, right? Black people just being who black people are adopted that term because of the education or the you know of, of because of where it came from at the end of the day it was about the housing of the jews and all of that but i just think that um she also then tried to like play it off and laugh like oh and i really love the bloggers girl you over there crying about the bloggers <laughs> you crying about the bloggers we can we can read through the energy you don't really love the bloggers. The bloggers don't hate you, okay? We don't know you. We don't we wanted to know you. We don't know we don't want to know you no more. Also, you all, I am making it my duty. If y'all do not want to go over there and watch her YouTube channel, you can come over here to me where I'm gonna break it down. But honestly and truly, I'm gonna break the first two videos down. If it's not interesting, we ain't doing it no more over here. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Also, she went live um, after the Love and Marriage Huntsville show on Saturday, she was supposed to go live at 930, but she ended up going live later then. And my guess would be because she was over there watching the interview that Carlos did with Melody. That's just my guess if I had to guess. So she ended up going live later than what she announced that later than what she announced. So this is a live video that I was recording on one of my phones and she kicked me off because I was asking her questions. Like I was literally asking her questions and she kicked me off of her live and then continued the live by answering my questions. Then shading the bloggers trying to cap like, oh, in the bloggers, I just love the bloggers. No, well, why you didn't leave me on the live, Stormy? Like, so we can converse because like, I don't like that she try to act like she's so hard or she has so much of a thick skin. You don't have a thick skin. We know you don't have a thick skin because if you had a thick skin, when the person called said that you look like a booger. That wouldn't have affected you. And we all know that you were actually on live crying, not because of the excuse that you gave, but because you know, like we was eating your ass up on the live. Also, Stormy is pretty boring. Her storyline is fake. Instead of us actually coming here to review Stormy, I actually now am invested in making sure we have the proof because Stormy and her mama are liars. At the end of the day, my opinion is Stormy was never Melody's friend. And I am going to, like I said, I'm going to get the clips rolling and ready. You guys just kind of hold off on it. I'll probably have it ready within a week or two. But Stormy had always been in the background when it comes to Mel. She's always been in the background of Love and Marriage Huntsville. She's always wanted to be a star. But nobody actually saw her as being a star because she looks like it with no factor. And I really do believe that. Look at her. So with that being said, what Carlos said on his interview with Melody, he said that Stormy wanted to join Bell Collective. I love Bell Collective. That's in Mississippi because um, Stormy is from Mississippi. Stormy couldn't even get in, get on in her own hood. Like she couldn't even get on in her own hood. But she has to move to befriend another woman to get her to give her the connection. Because at the end of the day, Carlos said that Melody reached out to him and told him about Stormy. 
Carlos already knew about Stormy, but was uninterested. Why? Because she is the it with no factor. She looks like it, but she has no factor. I really do believe that. And I'm sticking with it. She is a nasty, mean-spirited person. She is not honest. She is not real and true to herself. And at the end of the day, I think she has a net worth of multi-millions. I don't think she's a multi-millionaire, you guys. And that net worth would obviously come from being in stores. You get what I'm saying? Like that'll add more to her net worth if she's in multi-million dollar companies like CVS, Target, Walmart, so on and so forth. But as far as her bag, I doubt it, right? Why is she begging to be friends? Why is she begging for fame? I feel like she felt like this opportunity would push her more in the forefront without realizing that would have happened had she not targeted male. You can't target the star of the show without having any real standing. And like I told you guys in my last video, if she really didn't like Mel, she should have built a fan base for an entire year and then tried to target her. But again, Stormy isn't the brightest. She's not the smartest person. It's a lit. She ain't even finished um, school. So that's just my opinion. If you guys want to watch her live, you can. This is the live that I happened to record. So I only got six minutes of it. So she kicked me off six minutes into the live, you guys. So y'all don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell. Let me know what you think about all of this. I actually don't really want to talk about Stid Me anymore. But I am going to continue to talk about Stid Me because there is profit there. Um, Stid Me is annoying. She thinks people actually care about her and nobody cares about her. We only care about the show that you just so happen to beg your way to be on. You're not like required to share anything. You just kind of like, hey girl, come on. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey. Whatever, but now, like, you know, being you have the conversation where it's like, yo, so tell us what you have going on, tell us about da 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 da. It's also my opinion that Stormy is lying and trying to front for the people that already follow her that may not know that she is on the show because she's not actually explaining that I just came on the show full time this year. She's making it seem like, oh, I've been on the show, but they never really asked me anything. But this season, they just started to ask me questions like, no, bitch, you, this show first, I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> this show first time on the show, my bad, y'all, for cursing. I don't be trying to curse, y'all. And for me, it's just, it just was different. So I was kind of nervous about how it was going to look, but I think Courtney and I do a really good job at like just being ourselves. And I know for me, one of my things this season, I can't say this, but remember the tea, the tea, y'all, I'm saving that for... This what's up on YouTube, so follow This hoe don't got no tea. I don't, <laughs> she don't got no tea. Like, be for real, girl. You ain't got nothing to tell us. Carlos and Mel already told us the tea. If you wasn't finna get on your platform and tell us that Mel is the one that brought you onto the show, it, it was no tea to be had, actually. And also, pay attention to her body language when she talk. I'm not gonna talk too much throughout this whole video. She really annoying to me. But just look at her body language. I um, am raised by a psychologist and somebody that went to school for all of this stuff when it comes to like, I don't want to go too deep into my history. But anyways, I read body language well because it was taught to me. A person that speaks and always looks off to the right or left is immediately lying. That is a telltale right there. It's something that I noticed. This one of her tales in she also has um she's very insecure she just has a, a a lot of tales about her insecurity as well but i'm not going to stop and pause too much in this video in my next video when i drop all of the proof that is where i'm going to stop and pause so y'all enjoy this video like i said this is the video where i was asking her questions so you are going to see me typing asking her the questions y'all let me know what was wrong with the questions that i asked did I deserve to be kicked out alive? I don't think I deserve to be kicked out alive. Do y'all think Stormy is fronting and lying? Let me know what you think. Also, did you catch the ending of her live? In my next video, we're going to talk about the ending of her live where she tried to call the bloggers out. Like, girl, be fucking for real. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah, that's it. Is it blanking out? Okay. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called Stormy on Air on YouTube. That's the name of my page. And yeah, the show's going to be this was up. But as far as like filming and everything, I'm really just, you know, I'm cool with it. I was like my biggest thing about being on camera this season and like like letting people into my life because y'all gonna see more stuff too, especially like 
business stuff. <laughs> and I can't wait. You know, if you've been seeing my diaries, I'm always talking about like stuff that I'm kind of like, you know, I had to deal with, currently dealing with in business. And I'm really going to like tell so much stuff um, later on. So I just can't wait for y'all to see that. But one of the things, huh? My YouTube link, I don't know how you I know. I'm going to post my YouTube link in my story after the video. And on my page after the video. It just keep going out. Is it going out on your Oh, I don't know. It must be Facebook. No, Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, that's the one that keep going out. So, um, one thing I was really big about, especially with the producers, I struggled a lot this season with making sure that I was just authentically me. Like, I was like, I can't be fake. Like, I can't do the... You know, trying to be conscious of always sounding code switching and always sounding... Bleh, bleh. So, I was like, I'm just not doing that. And then every reaction that I made sure was just real for me. Like, I'm going to tell y'all some tea on this what's up. But, like, for me, it was just me being just true to what the fuck was going on in real life and not doing something solely because I'm on camera. Because, like, when you get on camera, like, you can, you can kind of go with the flow. But, like, I'm not doing it. Because, like, once you go with the flow, you have to maintain that through the entire season. And then certain storylines can be formed based on what people see over the course of the season just because you want to be in real at the beginning. So, for me, I was like, I'm going in this shit real. I'm not changing myself. If I change or decide to be a different type of person, y'all gonna see that happen on camera. I'm not coming on here fake. I'm coming on here me. And for me, it's always important that I do that. Like, especially when it comes to, like, reality TV because... It's easy for people to be, like, from a certain place. Like, when I'm from, like, y'all know I get hell. People call me ghetto. I'm a ghetto one on the show, but I'm cool with it. And people think I'm not cool with it because I cried about it on a reunion. But the thing about it is, when people use the term ghetto for me, it's as if it takes away from anything I've been able to do or achieve in life. So that's where the frustration for me is anything. And to be real with you, ghetto is a term that was given based off of where people lived and where, like, we were forced to live as, as a minority. So it's like, you really doing a disservice to my mud, ghetto. Like, that, that's, that's ghetto, to be honest. So... Yeah, I'm gonna get one on the show, and I'm cool with it. So I think with the show this season, people gonna need to see like me just be like layered, a human being. You gonna see me love on people. You gonna see me curse. You gonna see me cry. Like, and I and I'm happy with it because I made the conscious decision to just be authentic as fuck. I'm like I curse and I curse, but bitch, you get up. Okay, I'm ghetto, but guess what? I'm also very successful. <laughs> I'm also very intelligent. People choose to like talk about. I got two phones going, but I did my best to make sure, like, you know, really well. I'm gonna give you one. Oh, okay, you know, Courtney, 24 karat gold. What? Yes, 24 karat <laughs> 24 karat Courtney, don't bag on this. So say, I feel like with the lights, hitting the shine like that, but like in person, my nigga was stepping, okay? All right. <laughs> so leave Courtney in suit alone. He spent some money on that suit. That suit nice. What's the other one? Hmm. I'm gonna answer a few questions. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I came on here too tonight to tell y'all that y'all got too many this what's up to get the real 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 tea. But I'm seeing it probably all over Facebook because we talking about it because we've sold a lot of these. And I'm putting on my legs because I'm really, really ashy. And I didn't, you know, put no make that on when I got the shower because I wanted to show y'all the light. Like, I'm gonna show y'all this. Oh, you
Purpose only. It's not in the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose only. It's not in